Good afternoon, my name is Matthew from Axel and this afternoon I'm making a short video to demonstrate how to connect an Axel Thin client to a Citrix storefront solution. We'll be connecting to a Citrix demo on the Citrix cloud and if you Google Citrix cloud demo you can sign yourself up for it. So starting from factory defaults Keyboard, I will select English. The terminal name is Axel followed by its MAC address, so we know it's unique. You can overwrite that, I won't. Remote control is a, the VNC server, so we can connect to the Think Client from, from a PC for remote control. I will leave the color depth and the resolution at the default values. I have a wireless terminal here, so I'll quickly scan all the access points and enter the passcode. I'll leave DHCP enabled. Okay, at session type we select Citrix receiver and connection type. There are options here but the best solution is probably to pick Citrix receiver desktop and here we enter the URL. No printers or memory sticks connected. If you press F10 you go straight to next. Brief resume and save and reboot. So we'll do a fresh reboot from cold. I have attached a second monitor over here. There is a bit of reflection off it but we will see it working. There are settings whereby you can configure the left or the right monitor to be the primary monitor. So we're now connecting to the access point. We're now doing DHCP and we're now connected. And if we click on the Citrix icon, authenticate ourselves. We're now connected to the storefront server and we're downloading the icons of the published applications or desktops. So we can see here Citrix have published a desktop and various applications in folders. So if we click on Word, and I'll park that over there. If you click on the A icon down here, we go back to the Axel desktop, and if we click on with the upper directory and click on the Windows desktop. Okay, we now have the desktop and if we click on the icons down here we can go back to the previous application and if we click on the A icon again we go back to the Axel desktop where we could launch a different application. Now if we enter the setup and look in sessions, we'll see that the Citrix desktop has greyed out all the other sessions. Now this is because in the previous example it is possible that we've had to use three different sessions to connect to the three applications and that depends upon which server the applications are running on. So for example if the desktop and Word were on the same application server then one session would be okay to connect to both. But if they're on different physical servers behind the storefront interface, then we'd have to use one session per application. So by default, Citrix reserves all the unused sessions for applications to be opened up. So this begs the question, if you want to also have a connection to a Unix or an AS400 system, in addition to Citrix desktop, how do you do it when the sessions are all greyed out? So this is how. First of all, we have to disconnect from the Citrix sessions to make any changes to the configuration. So we enter setup, sessions, and we turn the desktop off. This enables all these sessions. We can now go into session one and configure it for, uh, let's say, Telnet. 
and session two, we can configure for AS400. It needs to have a server. And session three, we can configure for terminal services. And we'll leave the, the other sessions blank. I quit out and save. We now have, oh, hang on, I forgot. I forgot to re-enable the Citrix desktop and re-enter the URL. So now we're logged in with our Telnet session, our AS400 session and the Terminal Server session and we get the Citrix icons as before. So I'll connect to the desktop. And if I click on the A down here, I can open up the 5250 session and I can hotkey between one or the other. So I hope you found that interesting. The one thing to note is when you enter the Citrix storefront URL in the configuration, you only enter the URL. You, you do not enter the full path. And if indeed you do enter the full path, it won't connect. So be very careful not to enter the full path. Thank you very much and bye for now.